Having worked with many women over 50 to help them get healthy, lose weight, and improve their blood numbers for a reduced risk of chronic disease, I've been able to identify nine keys to make weight loss easier and more sustainable, especially in the years following menopause. And that's what I'm sharing with you in today's video. I had a client tell me once that she gained and lost the same 20 pounds about five times in her life. And I thought how frustrating that must be from a mental standpoint, but also just a practical one, having to have different sizes of clothing hanging around in your closet, depending on whatever weight you were at the time. Unfortunately, she is not the only person that I've heard that from. And often these women are former clients of other diet programs like Weight Watchers, Octavia, Nutrisystem, etc. And they just got fed up with the cost of the food products or the lack of the lifestyle flexibility, or just noticed that the weight came back on even though they didn't change what they were doing. And in my opinion, the problem is that they never took the time, energy, or money to invest in their own education about nutrition and a healthy lifestyle so that they could really understand how to lose weight and keep it off. They never learned how to think like a weight loss expert. They were just hoping for a quick, easy fix, crossing their fingers that the weight that they lost would actually stay off this time. If you like this video and want to see more, be sure that you give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel, and turn the bell on to get notified every time I post a new video. Now, before I dive into today's training, I wanted to let you know that enrollment for my online course and coaching program, How to Lose Weight After 50, is currently open but only for a limited time. This three-part video series will give you a little bit of behind the scenes look into my approach and my teaching style so that you can decide if you'd like to go beyond my free content and really start putting this information into action with a proven roadmap to lower your insulin resistance with weekly accountability and coaching from me. If you want to learn more about the course or if you already know that you want to join, please go to reshapept.com forward slash yes to see all of the details and sign up. And I really do hope to see you on the inside. If you're on the fence and not quite sure if you wanna join or not, I did put together a free on demand but limited time training called the top five weight loss mistakes to avoid after 50. In this training, I dive into the most common weight loss mistakes that I help my clients and course members overcome to get out of their own way and start seeing results. I'll also walk you through exactly what you can expect out of the course to determine if it's something that would be the right fit for you at this point in your life. To get access to that free training that won't be on YouTube or any other free platform, just go to reshapept.com forward slash free training, enter your name and email, and a link will be sent to your email inbox for your immediate access. The first key in making weight loss easier after menopause is challenging the status quo theory of why you gain weight in the first place. I can't tell you how many times I hear someone say, I know what to do to lose weight, I'm just not doing it. Most people actually don't know what to do, let alone why they aren't doing it. When I was telling my OBGYN what I did for a living, even he alluded to, yeah, people just eat too much and they don't move enough. Even many doctors and healthcare workers don't understand the science behind weight loss and disease prevention, and unfortunately hand out haphazard and incomplete advice. The theory that has been hammered into your brain to lose weight of eat less and exercise more, or that it's all about calories in versus calories out has been disproven by the research over and over again. Excess weight is a hormonal, not a caloric problem. Now, three great examples are puberty, pregnancy, and menopause. Those are three times in a woman's life where her body changes significantly, but not because she's eating more calories, but because her hormones are changing. So many of the popular diet plans are using this outdated caloric theory of weight loss and encouraging smaller and more frequent meals, less food, and using excellent marketing strategies and big bucks to make you believe that you need their fake food products to keep you coming back for more. All the while, you're spending a ton of money on fake processed food products that aren't really nourishing your body in a sustainable way, 
and the chronic caloric restriction is crashing your metabolism. So the first key is to challenge the thought that you actually know how to lose weight and admit that maybe, just maybe, you don't have all of the pieces to the weight loss puzzle. If you did, you probably wouldn't be watching this video right now. Once you accept that perhaps you don't have all of the pieces to the weight loss puzzle, the next key is to use your common sense. 95% of diets fail. Common sense tells me maybe we shouldn't be trying a new diet if we want to lose weight for good. Remember that the thoughts and actions that got you where you are today will not get you where you want to be. Trying the same thing or a new version of the same thing like meal replacements, Weight Watchers, Nutrisystem, Octavia, whatever the latest diet is, and expecting different results is the definition of insanity. The common sense approach is to not start a new diet plan if you know it's not going to be sustainable. Whether that be for cost, taste, or not being flexible enough to actually become a long-term lifestyle. You've got to learn to lose weight in a way that you want to live and eat the rest of your life. The next key is courage. I did a great podcast interview earlier this year with one of my rock star clients and course members, Kim, that I will link to in the description if you want to hear her full story. I'd really encourage you to do so because she embodies courage. Kim was another client who told me that she'd lost and gained the same 20 pounds several times in her life. And when we started working together, she lost it again, but she still had about 17 pounds left to lose. The stuff that she could never seem to get off on her own. At one point in her life, she had the thought, it doesn't matter and I don't care anymore. And after she retired, she started to have some more time to focus on and reflect on her health. When she turned 60, she had a pretty big aha moment, realizing that she was close to the age when her own parents died. And then she realized her why. She's a big reason why the sign behind me says, keep your eye on your why, because I know how powerful that thought was for her when she was losing the rest of her weight. She wanted to prevent chronic disease so that she could live longer than her parents lived. She has a family, friends, and a community to show up for. And she realized that she needed to do all she could to prevent disease and optimize her health. She showed immense courage and humility, admitting that she didn't have all of the answers and needed some expert guidance. If you are struggling with stubbornness or lacking the courage to really take some serious action about your health, I want you to first identify your why and then carefully think through two questions. What are the consequences of not taking action? If you change nothing or try a different version of what you've already tried, what are the potential consequences, physically, mentally, emotionally, and financially? The second question is what are the potential benefits of taking action and trying a new approach of developing a healthy lifestyle to lower your insulin resistance that just happens to be backed by research and proven time and time again by other women in your stage of life? Think through what losing weight would mean physically. Your clothes fit better, less joint pain, and fewer health conditions. Mentally, it would mean more confidence, less worry for you and your family about your health. And financially, you'd save money down the road because you don't need as many medications or doctor's appointments or surgery for poor health conditions. Learning how to live a healthy, sustainable lifestyle means you save a lot of money on fake food products that you may be using as a crutch because you just don't know what else to eat. Lastly, on this point, it takes courage to own your choices. Realize that you have made the choices that got you where you are today, nobody else. And that can be really hard to admit because you might not be happy with your current health status but it's actually great news because it means that you are in control and you can choose to make different choices and see different health results. The next key is to change your mindset. Physical change starts in your brain. You've got to have the right mindset and information going into things, or you won't be able to make sustainable changes. You won't be able to keep the weight off and ultimately you won't reduce your risk of chronic disease. 
I talk about my free audio training called the 5% Mindset Training a lot because it's the conversation I wish I could have with every person considering working with me. If you haven't already, please go and download that free audio at reshapept.com forward slash free audio. Know this, what worked in your 30s and 40s will not work in your 50s, 60s, and 70s to lose weight. Your hormones have changed and you need a new targeted, more specific, science-backed approach before you do any more damage to your metabolism and your overall health. The next key to make weight loss easier after menopause is communication. Once you've made up your mind to think and act differently, it's time to communicate your decision to the appropriate parties. And oftentimes that's going to be a spouse. Saying something out loud changes things. It adds another layer of accountability. And you may dread the conversation of starting another program with your spouse, and that's totally normal and okay. Maybe your spouse has spent a lot of money on your previous weight loss attempts. Maybe they've supported you through previous ups and downs with various diets, and you're almost embarrassed to say that you want to try something new again. And if you're considering signing up for my course, but you're struggling to know what to say and how to say it to your spouse, I have five ideas to share with you. Number one, remind your spouse that the better you care for yourself, the better you can care for those around you, including them. You will be able to show up in a bigger way if you are fully healthy. Number two, talk about the long-term financial benefits of losing weight and keeping it off related to disease prevention and medical costs, including medications, um, surgeries, falls, fractures, and just general appointments. Now, I know at least for my dad, he didn't get serious about his health until his blood sugar medications started to negatively affect his bank account. And reminding them of the return on investment often resonates really well. Number three, this is not another diet. I am not a middle level marketer. I don't sell any products or supplements. I'm a doctor of physical therapy specialized in geriatrics, and I am deeply passionate about helping women lose weight because I've seen firsthand the negative downstream effects that chronic disease has, not only on patients, but on their loved ones. I've dug deep through the latest research and I've helped other women like you lose weight and keep it off. So when you sign up for my program, I teach you the facts about how to lower your insulin resistance and change your health habits for good. Plus, you get weekly group coaching calls with me and direct access to me in a private Facebook community for additional support and accountability. Number four, it could potentially be reimbursed. Some health insurance companies and HR departments will reimburse for weight loss programs. If that's something that you're interested in learning more about, just email info at reshapept.com and I will get you more information to see if you qualify. And lastly, number five, your spouse can learn with you and see health benefits of their own. Many of my clients and course members mention how slowly but surely their spouse starts to buy into things. They start to maybe go to the gym more or want to eat, want to eat healthier meals. You're probably not the only person in your household with health problems. So whatever positive changes you make, they will probably start to buy into that as well. Key number six is consistency. We are what we consistently do. Early on in this business, I realized that knowing what information to give people to lower their insulin resistance and lose weight wasn't enough. I had to become a habit change expert as well. People naturally struggle to change their habits. And a big focus of the weekly group coaching calls in my course is helping you learn how to change your habits to turn the information that you're learning inside of the course into a sustainable lifestyle. And in the words of James Clear from his amazing book, Atomic Habits, every action you take is a vote for or against the person you wish to become. We aren't after perfection. We are after consistent forward progress. Key number seven is clarity, specifically clarity on insulin resistance and the multitude of factors that can raise or lower your insulin levels. Weight loss and disease prevention is not about eating less and exercising more. It's about lowering your insulin levels. Food and food timing definitely come first, but there are other factors like your exercise, sleep, and stress that can help lower your insulin too. 
If you missed part one in this three-part video training series, be sure to check that out because I dive deep into all of the factors in that video, which I will link to in the description. In my course, I walk you through all of these factors in greater detail and give you the science behind how to optimize every lifestyle habit that could be contributing to your high insulin so you can finally understand the science behind weight loss. Once you have this full framework of insulin resistance, weight loss becomes much simpler because you use that framework as a litmus test to determine if something is good or bad for your health. You also need clarity about which habits to prioritize first, second, and so on. I help you prioritize what to focus on and when so that you start changing your habits in the order that will have the greatest return on your time and energy investment. The next key is community. If you are looking to change some of your lifestyle habits like diet and exercise, but you're surrounded by an unhealthy family or unhealthy friends, you will be tempted to give into peer pressure when you're out to eat and fall back into your old health habits. Lasting habit change rarely occurs in isolation. Surrounding yourself with like-minded people working towards the same goals, using the same system as you is so encouraging to stay the course, even when things get hard. Another important aspect of community is accountability. Ultimately, you have to learn how to become accountable to yourself and to your own actions, but having a community of people working towards the same thing and cheering you on is a great motivator. The last key is coaching. I'm not talking about a weight loss coach that just checks your weight and says some sort of rah, rah, keep going cheer. And I'm not talking about a coach that has been hired by a big weight loss company to essentially upsell you or sell you more of their products and give surface level advice about weight loss. Like, well, maybe you should try adding in a workout this week, or maybe you should try this bar in the afternoon to help with your hunger. No. I'm talking about science-backed, no BS coaching. Weight loss is hard because habit change is hard. It's a long game. The whole it takes 21 days to change a habit thing is a myth. If you don't have a great, compassionate coach who really knows what they're talking about, understands the science behind weight loss and disease prevention, and digs deep to get into specific strategies to help you change your habits and reach your goals, you're likely not setting yourself up for the best chance of success. That's what you get when you sign up for my program. You get all of me, including my tough love, which comes out often in coaching calls. I care deeply about your success and your ability to get healthy and live the life you want without the fear of poor health holding you back from the things that you need, want, or love to do. Enrollment in my online course and coaching program is currently open, but only for a limited time. I encourage people to sign up as soon as they know they're ready, because once you do, you get immediate access to a couple bonuses and the first three modules. Module one is the welcome and orientation module with a couple lessons. You'll get to know me a little bit better, and then I talk about my course, community, and coaching call orientation. Module two is called Track the Right Things. Lesson one is begin with the end in mind, initial health assessment, and setting SMART goals. Lesson two is your new best friend, carb manager setup. And module three is called Get Your Head On Straight. Lesson one is how not to quit on yourself. Lesson two is accountability action plan. Lesson three is insulin resistance, weight loss, and disease prevention. And lesson four is lower your body set weight. I really do hope to see you on the inside and start working with you and getting you awesome results. Now remember, if you're on the fence and you're not sure if you want to join or not, I put together a free on-demand but limited time training called the Top 5 Weight Loss Mistakes to Avoid After 50, where I review the most common weight loss mistakes I see people make when they're trying to lose weight. In that free training, I will also walk you through exactly what you can expect out of my online course and coaching program to determine if it's right for you. To get access to that free training, just go to reshapept.com forward slash free training, enter in your name and email, and a link will be sent to your email inbox for your immediate access. 
please tell me in the comments below what your single greatest insight was from this video today. And if you have any other questions that you want me to answer, just drop them in the comments. I'll be sure to get back to you. Please don't forget to check out all of the great resources and other videos that I linked to in the description below. And if you like this video, please engage with it so that it can be seen by more people. Hit that like button, share it with your friends, and be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn the little bell on to get notified every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching today. I do hope to see you on the inside of my program and I will see you in the next video.